The new moon on June the 6th brings with it an energetic upgrade to activate and fine tune our intuition, our intuitive and psychic abilities. And it is an especially potent new moon because it's also combined with the 6 6 energy because it falls on June the 6th. And the 6 6 energy is a master number. It's all about balance, about harmony, and unconditional love. So we're really receiving that beautiful energetic upgrade to really tap into our own intuitive abilities and really fine tune them as well. And in this video, I want to share with you the key things, the five key things I think you should know about this particular new moon so you can really make the most out of this beautiful energetic upgrade that we're receiving with this new moon. So the first thing I want you to know is that you will receive an energetic upgrade and that energetic download to activate and fine tune your intuition, your intuitive abilities. This will then assist you to hear more clearly, see more clearly, know more clearly, and also sense more clearly as well. So you're really being fine tuned. So if you already have tapped into your intuition, just know you too will receive an upgrade as well. It's meant to fine tune your intuitive abilities so you can really tune in even more and receive receive more clear and accurate guidance and sense also more clearly. So this is absolutely beautiful because our intuitive senses, I mean, it's part of us, right? It's part of our beings. So we're really meant to embrace them. And this new moon combined with the 6-6 six, six energy will assist us in really activating our intuitive abilities, fine tuning them, really embrace them even more. Because especially now, if you remember what I talked about in the June forecast, June is all about abundance, right? And our intuition is actually key to experiencing greater abundance because it's about being in flow. It's about being in alignment. And our intuition is really key to that, to know when are we out of alignment? When are we in alignment? What feels right? What doesn't feel right? So that's why we're receiving that activation and that upgrade to our intuitive abilities, our psychic abilities so we really can feel more clearly so we know more clearly so we can really be more in alignment which will then assist us really to create a life of more abundance of more fulfillment of more prosperity and all these beautiful things that we really want and also most importantly to also help us and overcome any fears and any doubts because fears and doubts that's ego territory right that's that's all about the ego the personality is afraid of oh my god what's going to come if i do that and all of those different things right but when we're tapping into our intuition we will know what is right for us. We will know what feels in alignment and what feel, what doesn't. So when fear comes up, you can tune in like, okay, is this even the real reason? What is at the core of this? Am I really afraid or is it just my ego having a little bit of a hissy fit, right? So that's why our intuition is so very important. That's why we are receiving this upgrade now with this new moon. And like I said, it's, it's extra potent because of the 6-6 six, six energy. And by the way, I also have a light language activation coming out on June the 6th in the morning to assist with this upgrade to really activate and fine tune your intuition. So it's that new moon uh, light language activation. So definitely stay tuned for that. If if you haven't subscribed yet definitely subscribe if you are already a subscribed member to my community definitely stay tuned it will come out june the 6th in the morning so you can have that for the new moon energy so you can really tune into that but now let's get back to the key things here now the second thing i want you to know is that downloads and insights will increase meaning that you will receive crystal clear guidance and insights from spirit, from your guides, from your higher self, from source, whoever you're tapping into. And if you don't yet tap into any fr higher frequency, just know that insights will come be coming forth. You will receive those clear and accurate guidances uh, from spirit. Now here the invitation is to really open yourself up to that. Be open, be receptive, really listen, listen closely. Here you may actually do more journaling, maybe automatic writing, maybe tap more into meditation to connect more with the spirit realm, you know, with your soul, with your higher self, with your team of guides, with source energy to ask questions, to receive guidance. And here just be open, be receptive because you have now grown ready to receive that next step. Now with everything we have experienced up until this point, it really helped you get to this point now. Now we're receiving the next step of what is that next more evolved path for you moving forward. And here it's about really being open to that. 
because you will then receive the blueprint, the roadmap, the next steps to how to really move forward. And if you would like to have some more guidance around that, I want to invite you to also check out my Life Purpose Activator Akashic Record Reading. If you want to get a blueprint for what's to come next, what you're here to do, what's your life purpose moving forward, definitely check out my Akashic Record Readings. Link is in the description below and especially the Life Purpose Activator Reading, which will give you clear and accurate guidance, that roadmap for your path moving forward. So if that's of interest to you, link is in the description below. But just know that you will receive a lot of insights and downloads, you know, throughout this new moon period on or around the new moon messages are really coming through. So here you may want to keep a notebook handy to record any insights, any downloads that you're getting, because it will be really helping you to really then figure out, okay, what is that next step for me then? Then the third thing I want you to know is that you may actually feel triggered, especially if you are resisting, really embracing your gifts. This may be somewhat of a triggering energy for you because maybe your ego has a bit of a say so in this and is not really happy with that because when it comes to really tapping into and embracing our intuitive gifts, it requires a sense of surrender, of allowing, of really opening yourself up to receiving the guidance, right? And all of those words I just said, surrender, receiving, opening, allowing, ego doesn't like those usually, right? Ego wants to be in control. And so if you're usually challenged with really embracing your gifts, this may be a little difficult time for you. You may feel a little triggered. But just know that it is to your highest and greatest good. Now, you may also feel a little challenged by just the enormity of what's coming in because these light codes, these upgrades can be a little overwhelming as well. So just know that you may feel a little triggered by all these things are coming in, especially also the guidance that you're receiving as well. Because as you're tuning in, as you're receiving the downloads and the insights, you may actually get your blueprint or your steps of what you're meant to be doing moving forward, what is asked to be expressed through you, which may be quite outside of your comfort zone. And that may also trigger fears and doubts and overwhelm and all of those different things. So here, just work the energy. Here, what I want to invite you to do is, if any kind of fear or doubt or discomfort comes up, I want to invite you, don't resist it, don't push it away, but lean into that. Don't go into the story of why and what and what ifs and all that stuff, none of that. But I want to invite you to tune into the feeling. If it's fear, connect with the fear. If it's overwhelm, connect with the overwhelm. Really feel it, connect with it. Like I said, it's not about the story and what's going to happen, all that. I, I, none of that. I really want to invite you to tune into the feeling. Feel it with the intention of releasing it, of letting it go. Because think of it like that, like the pressure cooker, right? If you ignore the pressure cooker, eventually it may, you know, blow up or whatnot if, the, if it keeps, you know, bubbling and bubbling and bubbling. So here what you want to do is when you're feeling those feelings, because they are there. I mean, or otherwise you wouldn't feel them, right? So when you tune into them, this is shadow work, by the way, right? When you're tuning into the feeling, and you're just feeling it, you're just giving it out. Okay, for the next few minutes, I'm just going to feel the fear. I'm just going to fear. Yes, I am afraid. I am afraid of this and that. You know, th this is, you know, scary. I don't know what to do. And I'm having such a, getting such a kick out of this fear. Just really feel it. Get a kick out of that. And then you will notice after a few minutes that fear is just kind of, it lessens, it kind of dissolves. And then you will feel more empowered. That's shadow work. You're really connecting with whatever you're feeling with the intention of releasing it and letting it go. And then when you give it that time and space, you're acknowledging that it's there, you're giving it that space. Think of it like that. Whenever a kid has a little hissy fit, a little temper tantrum, right? You may just say, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna give you five minutes. Have your hissy fit, but then it's done. It's kind of like that, right? So that's how you can then break through that fear, the discomfort that may come up because of what you may be feeling, those downloads, those insights, the, the upgrades that you're receiving. But really do it with the intention of then releasing it and letting go. Which then brings me to the fourth thing I want you to know is that after the initial discomfort that you might feel, you then also feel an immense release, that inner opening up that occurs because your light is being turned on. You feel more connected, more alive, more awake. And here are the invitations to embrace it and let it settle because you're now coming online, so to speak. 
Right? So with all these upgrades, these downloads that you're receiving with this new moon, you're really being activated from deep within. So think of it like that. The light is really coming on. You're turning on that light switch, right? And then all of a sudden you're, you're becoming so much brighter. And that's because you're really tapping into your inner gifts, your inner strength, and you're receiving that beautiful upgrade with this new moon. So here, don't resist it, but allow it. Embrace it and let it settle. Let it become part of you. Because tapping into your intuitive gifts is absolutely beautiful, wonderful. Yes, it can be overwhelming, especially if you don't really know how to work it, how to what to make out of it, how to really embrace it so it doesn't overwhelm you. But once you really learn how to do that, and here, maybe check out my program about, uh, it's a psychic development course to really help you develop your psychic abilities. The link is in the description below if you want to check that out. If you really want to learn how do you really develop your different clears, how do you really uh, tap into your intuition, link is in the description below. It's a beautiful course to really help you learn how to really use your gift. So if that's of interest to you, just check it out. But just embrace whatever is coming up because it is truly to your highest and greatest good. Then the fifth and final piece here that I want you to know is that dreams now also intensify. So here you may actually have more out-of-body experiences. Uh, lucid dreaming also intensifies. You may also have some clear and vivid visions throughout the day when you're actually awake. And that's because there's so much coming in, so many downloads, so many insights that are coming in, and you're receiving, basically all your psychic abilities are being activated, especially your, your intuition. So here, your sight, your, your psychic sight, which also includes your dreams and visions and those type of things, they intensify. Now, this can feel a little overwhelming. And here, what you can do is you can basically ask the higher realms to slow it down, to give it to you in ways that are not overwhelming to you because the higher realms, they just want to give you all the opportunities, all the solutions, all the things that you are to your highest and greatest good. But it may be a little bit much. So you can actually say, hey, can you guys turn it down a little bit, tune it down a little bit? It's a little much, you know, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. But, you know, you still want to be open to it, right? You don't want to block it completely because what's coming through now is really giving you the roadmap, the blueprint, the insights, the guidance, whatever is that you need for your path moving forward. So here, don't resist it, but allow it. But if it's too intense, if it feels a little too much, too overwhelming, just ask them to tune it down. There has been times when I was getting so much input, so many insights. I'm like, guys, can you slow it down? I mean, let me digest this first, right? And they slowed it down. Okay, then instead of giving me all the opportunities or all the different ideas, all the things that would be to my highest and greatest good, they just kind of slowed it down and just kind of limited to just the most important things, right? So you can ask that if it's too overwhelming, you know, just ask to tune it down. But here I also want to invite you, write it all down. Write down the insights, the guidance that you're receiving, the visions that you're having, the dreams that you're having, all of those things, you know, on or around the new moon. Write it all down. Because what I'm gathering is that you're receiving the bits and pieces through the different ways of how you receive information. If usually your intuition, if you're really too much in your head and you're not really getting the insights when you're asking, then you may get the insights during your dream state because then you are not, your ego is basically asleep. You, you're more open and receptive. Or you may get insights when you're doing something, let's say driving. There's been times whenever I was driving and that's when I was getting all these insights because that's when I was most receptive because I was just driving. I wasn't, I was just, I was open, I was contemplating and that's when the guidance were coming through. But when you're trying too hard to really figure things out, that's often when you're too much in your own way and that's when you block the flow. But here, just write down whatever insights you're getting because it's like the puzzle pieces and then you can then figure out, okay, how am I going to put this together? What do I feel called to do? But just know with this new moon, you're receiving a lot of insights, a lot of guidance, a lot of downloads to really help you move forward. So these are the five key things I want you to know. Now, let me share with you how to really make the most out of this energy with this new moon. Now, ideally, I want to invite you, if you can take some time out on or around the new moon, that would be ideal. So you can maybe meditate and really open yourself, really open up your senses 
to receiving the insights, to receiving the guidance. It's about making a time and space for the guidance to actually come through. If you're always busy and doing, 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 you're actually too distracted for the guidance to come in or the guidance is trying to come in, but you're so distracted that you're not even realizing it, that you're not aware of it. So here on or around the new moon, take some time out to really tune in, open yourself up to receive any guidance, have a notebook handy, you know, maybe even have somewhat of a, uh, you know, your notebook with you or a way to make notes. Or sometimes like I put it on my phone, either I record it on the audio or just, you know, write myself an email with the insights that I'm getting or whatever you can do to really record the insights that you're getting would be ideal on or around the new moon because the insights are coming in. And also prepare yourself and open yourself up for that upgrade. So now you're receiving the insights from me. I'm sharing this with you that downloads are coming in, insights are coming in, you're receiving that up at that activation, that fine tuning to your intuition. So you can prepare yourself energetically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually like, okay, something is coming, I re I'm receiving an upgrade. And definitely tune into the video, the light language activation for the new moon that comes out on June the 6th in the morning. So you can also get that activation as well, that energetic assistance. But you just prepare yourself that on or around the new moon, you will receive those upgrades. So you actually may feel that your third eye is pulsating, your crown maybe, you may feel somewhat of a sensation there. You know, even your heart center, you may feel somewhat of pulsation, uh, pulsating kind of feeling or tightness there as well. That's because you're being upgraded, you're receiving those upgrades. But then really tune in and connect more with your intuition more on a day-to-day -day basis. Let your intuition guide you and tr learn to trust it. Okay, so here are the key things about the new moon as well as how to really make the most of it. Now, I hope you enjoyed this. Now, be sure to check out this video here. It's about how to find your soul's purpose with the Akashic Record so you can get some more guidance around that as well. So I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, make an amazingly abundant and joyful day. Namaste.